Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to store your connection string section in your web back config file in another, another configuration file. Um, the advantage of doing this is that when you change the web back config file, the application restarts and some of your client session might be disrupted. But if you store it in another File external file, then um, any changes would have no effect on your application. Um, so let's get started. So in this web.config file, you have a connection string um, section, and just to prove it, let's print out to prove that this connection string works. Let's print it out. Configuration manager, connection strings, and give it the name of the connection string. Not when, so it should print it out to the browser. So that works. Now let's separate out the connection strings uh, section by creating another configuration file so what we want to do is create a new item and which is the web configuration file let's call this connection strings dot config <coughs> so what we want to do is copy this section, the connection string section, put it into the connection string dot config and save everything. And now we want to come back to the web dot config file and then define the web the connection string section. And instead of um, typing out the connection string we want to Point it to the the other configuration file, the connection strings that configuration file, and then set config source to equal to connection strings dot config. Now, if I run the default dot aspx file, I should also get the connection string printed out. But what this is doing is it's going to the external file and getting the connection string instead of getting it from the web config. So this is the web config as you can see it's only pointing to the connection strings that config and it doesn't have the connection string locally. And this is um and this is it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.